Good afternoon. Welcome back. You see it right, right here on your screen, Dimash. And we have Huang Xiaoguang with a song, I Came to Honor Mortal Life and Forgive Me for My Pronunciation. Um, but it's, gosh, it's been, been a while since we listened to any Dimash songs lately. And so we've got to at least throw one in here. I've kind of missed the guy. It's been a while. I haven't listened to his music in a spell and all of his 25,000 octaves that the guy can sing is just crazy talented. And so here we have, again, Dimash with Huang Xiangong with I Came to Honor Mortal Life at the CCTV Mid-Autumn Festival Party in 2024. So we got kind of a new one. So here we go. Very th theatrical. Let's turn them up. Oh, I can tell she was for you, but I 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 was Oh, geez. He hasn't gotten any worse. Let's just let's just put it that way. He is crystal clear. This dude, like, he's definitely got more of a theatrical presence to him. Very big, very big on stage, very big with his voice. And and he does belong in more of like a Broadway musical kind of genre. Um, but just listening to him again, it's just like I've missed listening to his music. It's like it's been a long time. It's like, oh, my gosh. All right. So anyways, let's continue on. I'm my oars, my ship and my sails. OK, let's continue. <laughs> cool visuals. Hang on a second. She, uh, okay, now, of course, I am not in the know of some of the superstars in some other countries. And so I don't know, I don't know who Huang is. Um, I, I, uh, I, of course, I'm familiar with Dimash. Um, and so would I would love to know more about her because I'm curious if she's one of these big musical geniuses in her right in her culture because i'm trying to imagine what it must be like to step up and sing with dimash how intimidating that that must be but it could go the other way too i mean dimash could be intimidated by seeking with her i don't know her and so i don't know the the color behind you know her background at all is i'm just that's where my mind goes and i'm just thinking could she be nervous or is he nervous or does it not even matter, you know? But anyways, beautiful voice. Wow, she's, yeah. You, they sound great together. I'm just curious, who is she? She's somebody really well-known. Fill me in. I like the visuals too. I gotta go back a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm getting lost in the visuals. I'm, I'm missing some of the lyrics. I like that breakup. Uh -huh. The way she did it, it's all, you know, you guys know how I like that yodel kind of effect where somebody can break a, break a note up. Very cool. I like that. Oh, 
I want to know if he's going to go, you know, through the clouds on his vocals here. I think I've already answered my own question. She's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's good. She's good. So she must be a she must be a, a star, you know, uh, singing with him. So she, wow, she's she's beautiful. Her voice is beautiful, um, and it just it goes well with the mosh for sure. Nice little run. Ooh, I like that. Uh, that was cool. Gotta admit. Okay, now look, <laughs> look, I'm just, uh, the thing, the thing with him is that, um, he's got those little tricks in his bag that he likes to pull out every once in a while. And that's the long notes with an extreme power behind them that just carry on forever. It's just like his thing, you know? And then of course he throws in some of the higher octaves, which I haven't really heard this song yet. He's not really kind of breaking out yet, but we've got a few more seconds here, but I think we're winding down. I'm, we may not highlight most of his range today in the song so if you're curious about what i'm talking about listen to sos or some of his other songs and he's just a, a freak of singing he's just like he's amazing he's like his control and his accuracy of hitting some of the tones and notes that he that he strives for is really remarkable it's just really amazing <laughs> I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't be Dimash and sing a song. Even if you're going to sing row, row your, row, row, row your boat, you're going to have to like really row because you're going to have to like really hit those high notes. He always throws those in. Those are just remarkable and he just nails them. I don't know why some people say they don't like it, but I love it. I think that he's, he's just got a lot of great control. You know, how can you not look at this and kind of go, okay. Look at it from just a scientific standpoint. It just if, if anything else, other than the beauty of both their voices, think about what he's doing vocally. And let's, I would encourage you to hum along and try to hum firmly and loudly and see how you hit those notes. It's seriously, I mean, from a, from a technical standpoint, it's, it's amazing. It's like Mariah Carey-esque in a way. Hang on, I gotta go back. I gotta hit that again. I gotta, I gotta. Very theatrical, man. It, the boat floating around the... 
if the boat floating around the moon. That's just cool. It, look, it's just cool. Um, man, it's been too long since I've listened to Dimash. I may have to get him back onto my playlist. Haven't heard him in a while. But definitely a voice for theater. Definitely a voice for Broadway. Definitely that kind of vocalist. Um, but man, does it... Does he have some pipes? Come on. My goodness. <sighs> yeah, just what can you say?